Hi everyone, welcome back to SG Doctor Wellness. My name is Dr. Chen Yiming. In this week's episode, I'm very happy to have with me uh, Dr. Li Weiping, okay, consultant breast surgeon from Solis Breast Care and Surgery Center. Do you know that breast cancer is the most common cancer amongst Singaporean ladies? What are some of the methods for breast cancer screening? And at what age should we start the screening process? Do you know that if someone in your family has had breast cancer, your risk of getting it becomes much higher. What are the other risk factors? Oh, and I also teach you how to do your own self breast examination. Um, so watch right to the end to learn all about it. And if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button now. Now, Dr. Lee, how common is breast cancer in Singapore? Well, breast cancer is very, very common. In fact, it's the top cancer among women in Singapore. One in 13 Singaporean women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. An average of six women are diagnosed with breast cancer every single day. But the good news is that more ladies are now being diagnosed at an earlier stage, which is stage 1 and 2, and I would attribute that to an increased awareness about breast cancer due to the efforts from our primary physicians, our health promotion board, as well as education on social media. I see. Now, some of the risk factors for breast cancer that I know about includes a positive family history, prolonged female hormone exposure due to early age of menses onset, late menopause, never being pregnant and uh, never have breast fat, uh, the use of oral contraceptives or hormone replacement therapy during menopause, lifestyle factors like smoking, excessive alcohol, sedentary lifestyle and obesity. Are there any other factors that I missed out properly? Well, I think uh, age is an important risk factor too. If you look at the incidence, you'll find that the breast cancers um, uh, increases after the age of 40 years old, so it tapers off after 69. So I would say that uh, age between 40 to 69 is actually a risk factor. Yes, okay. So, so then can I say that the breast cancer screening should start from age 40 onwards? Well, yes and no. So medical breast cancer screening should start from the age of 40 onwards, but breast self-examination should start at an even earlier age, as early as in your 20s. Right. So, would you then recommend breast self-examination uh, for all ladies from the 20s onwards? And if yes, could you share more about how our young female audience can do a self-breast examination? Alright, so breast self-examination is, uh, is one of the important tools that we should have because it allows a woman to actually detect any breast lump early, especially if we're worried whether the lump would be due to cancer. So I would recommend doing it once a month. So for ladies who have yet to reach menopause, it is advisable to do it 7 to 10 days after the start of their menses, whereas ladies who are postmenopausal can do it any time of the month. Okay, so the three simple steps of a breast self-examination would be that of look, feel and check. So first with look, we we'll look into a mirror with both arms raised. Okay, so uh, we're looking out for any nipple changes, any obvious lumps, any obvious skin changes such as redness or any ulcers in the skin. Then turn from side to side to see whether there are any similar changes at both sides. Followed with feel. So now this is when we take three of our fingers, the index, the middle, as well as a ring finger, using the tips of it to feel for any lumps in the breast in a circular clockwise manner. So don't forget to um, feel over the armpits on both sides. This is best performed when you're lying down or in the shower. Last, to actually squeeze the nipple gently on each side to see if there's any discharge. Very simple steps to follow. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Now then, for ladies above 40, what should be the recommended breast screening method? Well, ladies who have no symptoms at all between the age of 40 to 49 can consider doing a mammogram on a yearly basis, while ladies who are above the age of 50 years old should do their mammogram once every two years. While mammograms are easily available, accessible at most of the polyclinics across Singapore, in fact, mammograms can also be arranged by your family physician or as part of the health screening packages. Yes, so in fact in my practice, uh, we do send patients for mammogram and ultrasound breasts as well. Now my next question for you is, what about ultrasound breasts? Should ultrasound breasts be used as uh, the screening method or the main screening method? 
Okay, so to give an introduction, ultrasound is a very simple, it's a very safe method for examining the breast. There is no radiation and it can even be done in the clinic. I have an ultrasound machine in my clinic which I use almost on a daily basis. In general, ladies below the age of 40 years old are not encouraged to do mammograms and that is because their breast tissues are more dense and that will make the interpretation more challenging as well. So if a young lady in her 30s have any breast issues, concerns, lumps, she should seek medical attention, consider to see a breast specialist and that is when we usually would make use of our ultrasound at the bedside to do to evaluate the situation. However, in some situations, we do find that ultrasound can help to complement mammogram as one of the screening tools. But this, I would suggest consulting your family physician, your breast doctor, for the best screening recommendation. Right. Now, I hear that there is now a three-dimensional mammogram. How is that different from our traditional 2D mammogram available in the polyclinics? Is it a superior screening tool? Well, 3D mammogram is said to be an improved version of the current 2D mammogram and unlike a 2D mammogram where we only take two views of the breast, 3D mammogram will allow multiple x-ray images of the breast to be taken in various angles and then subsequently compiled by the computer software to produce a digital image. So it has been shown to improve the clarity of the scan to avoid the probability of overlapping breast tissues. It has also been shown to improve the cancer detection rate, especially in ladies with very dense breast tissue. Now, most ladies who have experienced the 3D mammogram have feedback to say that the pain discomfort is significantly lesser than that uh, with the 2D mammogram. Wow, that, that sounds uh, very good. Would it then increase the amount of radiation to the breast tissue? Well, the amount of radiation emitted by any type of the mammogram is extremely low, so therefore they are very safe, so nothing that you, uh, any woman will have to um, worry about. Okay, great. But uh, to my knowledge, it's not available at the polyclinics yet, right? Yes. So if our audience are interested in a 3D mammogram, where, where should or where can they go? Well, 3D mammogram, it is actually available in our restructured hospitals and also at selected uh, private hospitals, including the breast imaging centres these mm. days. Okay, thanks for the information. So, obviously, the reason why uh, we as doctors would want uh, patients to get breast cancer screening early is to detect early stage cancer. Can you share with us uh, the five-year survival rates of early stage breast cancer versus late stage breast cancer? Well, you are very right okay, about it. So as with all cancers, if we can detect breast cancer early, the five-year survival rate that we're looking at is as high as 70 to 90 percent, whereas something that's of a later stage is le only less than 30 percent. So I really cannot stress enough about the importance of early screening, early detection, all right, so that we can pick up something early so that treatment can, can start early as well. Exactly. I think that's a very, very important message. Now, Dr. Lee, any final parting words or messages to our lady viewers out there? Okay, so despite the improvement in the awareness for breast cancer, our screening rate still is one of the lowest among all the first world countries. Our screening rate in Singapore is around 30%, whereas if you compare to Sweden, UK, it's as high as 90%. Now, research uh, that was done to look into the reasons why our women are reluctant to go for their mammograms showed that the main reason is that of fear. So fear of radiation, fear of being diagnosed with cancer, fear of pain from the mammogram itself. And one other reason that some ladies have quoted was that it is not accessible and simply they have no time for themselves. So please, all ladies okay, out there, please do your own monthly breast self examination for those who are above the age of 40 to go for your regular breast screening. Um, and also, if you have any issues, any concerns, any lumps, please look for your family physician or consult anybody. Okay. So thank you, Dr. Lee, for coming onto our show today to speak about breast cancer. Um, I hope this episode can convince you on the importance of breast cancer screening. The health benefits are there, so do not find any more excuses, okay? Health is wealth. So subscribe, like and share. Until the next time, stay safe and stay healthy.